preparing a solution of sodium hydrogen sulfate. The first thing to do is to weigh the empty rain boat. 0.83 grams. We then need to transfer, according to the instructions, 3.3 grams of the anhydrous salt into the boat. It's best technique not to weigh onto the balance in case you spill any. 3.3 plus 0.83 is 4.13 grams. So we need to put 4.13 grams about a gram more. And we can just remove a tiny amount. Four point one six, close enough. Next, we record that in our lab book four point one six grams mass of the boat plus the salt. We then Put the salt into the 250ml beaker and reweigh re -weigh the boat. Back to our original mass, 0.83. By subtracting the mass for, of the empty boat from the previous weighing, we get the mass of salt transferred. Three point three zero grams. Uh, next, we need to dissolve the sodium hydrogen sulfate. Uh, we know that the volume of the volumetric flask is 250 centimetres cubed, so we can dissolve or add water to about 100, 150 mark on the beaker. Now, ordinarily, one would stir with a glass rod onto the beaker, uh, onto the bench, but I'll raise it up so that you can, in a moment, so you can see the salt dissolving. It's important not to rush this stage, so we'll just place it down as we would normally. use the end of the glass rod to crush any last tiny little specks. And check, still got a few granules left. And finally, the salt has dissolved. Next stage is to transfer all of the solution into the volumetric flask. And we need to wash all the equipment that we've used in addition to that. 
So first let's start with the glass rod. Replace the wash bottle. And be careful not to touch the tip of the wash bottle onto the equipment. So there, we've washed the rod. Next we can tip the solution into the funnel. And next we need to wash the beaker. Good to wash at least five times, rinsing the walls of the container. Again, be careful not to touch the tip of the bottle onto the beaker. And the last thing we can wash the funnel, sides of the funnel just in case. Now, in this flask, the line to fill to is here, so we need to add quite a volume of water, you can use the washboard to squirt it in or you can take the top off and pour into the funnel, whichever seems appropriate. Again, place the wash bottle. Now it's at this point that we need to be aware of overshooting the mark. We're still about three centimetres below the line, so we can add a little bit more with the bottle. But when we get close, we use a dropping pipette for greater control. So lower your head down in line with the flask and add water drop-wise, approaching the line. and then a few drops at the end, keeping your eyes level with the bottom of the meniscus and the line on the flask. There. So raise that up for the camera, but tilting it, of course, you can't quite see. Need to Invert the flask and shake, again five times, usually suffices. And the last thing we need to do is to label our solution. So this one's sodium hydrogen sulfate NaHSO4 and we've got 3.3 grams in there. Preparing a standard solution of sodium hydrogen sulfate.